One of the hardest presentations to give schools is substance abuse related. The stuff that kids don't want to pay attention to. See, in seventh grade, it was the first time I felt like killing myself. I talk about my life story. I talk about the choices that I made, the attitude that I had. But what I didn't realize was, is that my coach was trying to teach me how to be disciplined in things that I didn't want to do. So when I got to do the things I did want to do, I knew how to give it 150% effort. I also talk about some really important issues that every drug addict or alcoholic has experienced at some point in their life. I found out that I had these anxiety issues. I had social anxiety issues. I was a popular kid because I could play sports, but when I came to school, I didn't know how to make friends. I could see that there was a connection being made, a genuine connection, and I think it's because Tony, he poured it out. You have to change every single thing about your life. The way you think, the way you talk, the way you walk, the places you go, the friends you have, and the things you do. It's hard to get people to come in and share and, and empty their hearts and be real with kids these days. I didn't get to choose whether or not when I walked through that door, I was going to be an addict. So when I walked through this door telling myself, I'll never be the guy holding that microphone, I didn't realize that I wasn't going to get to choose. I found out that I was a drug addict and an alcoholic when I walked through the door. I've only seen people walk through this door and turn around and get back out the other side two different ways. One, in a casket. And one of the best parts about my presentation is that it's not a drug speech. So not only do I talk about drugs and mental health and choices, but I also talk about what has made me successful. And so I told myself I had to get really good at a lot of little things. A lot of little choices that people think don't matter. After I learned how to make my bed, I learned how to organize my stuff. After I learned how to organize my stuff, I learned how to physically train hard every single day in prison without taking any days off. Or if there's somebody in here that's listening to me and you got a dream or a goal or a direction you're trying to take your life, don't miss this part of my story. This cop called me into the office one time. She says, hey, we here, when you get out of here, you're gonna race BMX and you're going to the Olympics. I said, that's right. She said, no, you're not. Don't fool yourself, kid. You're going to come back in here just like everybody else. She was an adult bully. I mean, I got the chills watching him talk. I really did. But I'm telling myself, I'm training for the Olympics right now. I'm going to the Olympics. And the cop in the tower, he gets on the megaphone. He says, Hoffman. And I looked up on him. I said, what? He said, go inside. It's snowing. There's nobody out here for a reason. And I looked up at him and I said, I'm going to the Olympics when I get out of here. The mindset of sacrificing, the mindset of following your dreams, the mindset of overcoming what the bullies have to say when they tell you that you can't follow your dreams or become what you want to become. That's what I bring to students. That's why students are connecting with me all over the country. And that's why I believe strongly that coming to your school will make a life-changing impact in everybody in the audience, including the staff. I didn't come here to tell you not to use drugs, guys. I came here to tell you, one choice can change the rest of your lives. Thank you.